If you're like me and check your weather app on your phone daily for tomorrow's forecast, you have NOAA scientists to thank for that. And that's today's topic of Sarah Explains It All. Now, when you hear the word NOAA, you probably, like me, think about oceans and sea turtles. But did you know that also a huge component of NOAA is the National Weather Service that has 900 weather stations across this country and partnering with NASA has weather satellites that are giving us real-time feedback, not just on temperature and atmosphere, but also the very real threat of hurricanes, tornadoes, severe weather, and more. Now that weather data isn't just important to tell you what to wear the next day. Uh, it also importantly tells us everything we need to know about atmosphere, severe storms, and especially as we enter hurricane season, it's going to warn you what's coming next. And that's why it's so important that we have a robust National Weather Service. Yet, President Trump's skinny budget calls for cutting NOAA staff and funding by one third. Now this is on top of the decimation that Doge has already brought to that agency. Luckily, it's not what quite what Project 2025 has called for, which is the complete elimination of NOAA. And we just saw a tornado touch down in Maryland. Severe weather is on the uptick. You know that in the third district from Ellicott City to Annapolis. It's why I'm fighting every day to bring some common sense back to Washington, fighting against these draconian cuts to the National Weather Service and NOAA, and why I'll always be in your corner.